Get ready for liftoff, folks. SpaceX is revving up for another epic launch as they prepare to send Starship Super Heavy Booster Flight 3 soaring back to the pad. It's finally happening. Picture this. Ship 28, the next Starship in line for orbit, was chilling in the high bay. But not for long. With a smooth rollout, it's now perched on the engine install stand at the Rocket Garden, ready for action. Just yesterday, eagle-eyed workers were spotted under the skirt of S-28, tinkering away like mad scientists. Looks like they've got the Raptor removal jig up and running. Ship 28 might be in for a little engine switcheroo. And hey, take a peek at the nose of Starship 28. Huge shout out to Starship Gazer for capturing these jaw-dropping shots. B-10 is gearing up for its grand debut with its hot staging ring back in action, sealing off the vehicle's internals. It's a promising sign that we're inching closer to completion. SpaceX isn't messing around. They've been busy fine-tuning every aspect of B-10, from routine avionics checks to tweaking valves, and even implementing new modifications based on lessons learned from Booster 9's flight last time on the 18th of November of 2023. They are leaving no bolt unturned. Over at the launch site, it's a hive of activity. Freshly painted legs and shiny new steel plates adorn the tower base, signaling a dedication to perfection. While the launch pad didn't take a beating during the last launch, years of exposure to coastal winds have left their mark, requiring ongoing maintenance to combat erosion and rust. But fear not, the scaffolding stands tall, allowing skilled workers to tackle every task with precision. SpaceX isn't just patching up cracks, they're fortifying the launch pad against the mighty forces unleashed by each super heavy launch. With new structures in place, they're beefing up defenses to withstand the punishing heat and power of 33 roaring engines. And up on the launch tower, it's all systems go. The chopsticks flexed their muscles yesterday, rising up and spreading wide. Could this be a dress rehearsal for the grand performance of Ship 28 and Booster 10? You betcha! With both vehicles set to make their triumphant return to the launch pad this week, SpaceX is right on schedule to hit their January target. Once Ship 28 and Booster 10 take their places, it's, it's go time for a wet dress rehearsal, giving SpaceX the green light to replicate the magic of their last two flights. Exciting news, space enthusiasts! SpaceX has just scored a fresh FCC license, paving the way for groundbreaking on-ground testing of the Starship Super Heavy Vehicle Communications at their state-of-the-art test facility. Mark your calendars, it's game on from January 28th to July 20th of this year. But wait, there's more! The wet dress rehearsal isn't the only showstopper on SpaceX's checklist before they aim for orbit. Can you imagine a static fire test of all 33 Raptor engines in the Super Heavy Booster? It's a jaw-dropping display of power and precision. And believe me when I say hold on to your haberdashery because this wet dress rehearsal is shaping up to be an absolute game changer. SpaceX is pulling out all the stops with major upgrades to the Orbital Tank Farm, or OTF for short, since Flight 2. That means additional pumps, subcoolers, and a revamped plumbing system, all geared towards supercharging the fueling process for the entire stack. Efficiency? Check. But while SpaceX seems to have conquered the hardware hurdles for Starship Flight 3, there's still one big obstacle looming on the horizon, the FAA's launch license. However, with the latest word from the FAA, optimism is riding high. We're talking March launch potential here, people. And SpaceX isn't just moving fast with the Starship program, they're practically sprinting towards the future. While NASA's Artemis mission captures headlines, let's not forget the ultimate goal. Mars. And speaking of Mars conquests, let's tip our hats to NASA's Ingenuity helicopter mission. After an incredible three-year journey on the red planet, Ingenuity, the pioneering robot that dared to soar through alien skies, has reached the end of its mission. NASA broke the news last week. A rotor blade mishap during its latest hop means Ingenuity can no longer take flight. The historic journey of Ingenuity, the first aircraft on another planet, has come to an end. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson said in an agency statement, 
Let's rewind the clock back to February of 2021, when NASA's Perseverance rover touched down on the Martian surface, accompanied by a pint-sized powerhouse, the Ingenuity. Weighing in at just a little under two kilos, this little chopper had a big mission to prove that powered flight was possible in Mars's thin atmosphere. And boy, did it deliver. Over the course of its extended mission, this plucky rotorcraft completed an insane 67 flights, surpassing even the wildest dreams of its creators. Against all odds, Ingenuity soared beyond its 30-day mission, embarking on a nearly three-year odyssey across the Martian landscape. With an impressive flight time of 129 minutes over 72 flights, this toy of a chopper carved out a remarkable path, traversing 7.7 kilometers of Martian terrain and etching its mark on the red planet. But even the most remarkable journeys must face their final chapter. During its last flight on January 18th, Ingenuity encountered unforeseen challenges. Communication glitches disrupted its connection with the rover, and upon touchdown, damage to one or more rotor blades became apparent. It's a poignant reminder of the risks inherent in exploration. Moving on to something more closer to our neck of the woods, Japan's upside-down slim moon lander is back in action, snapping new photos after a brief power nap on the lunar surface. In a thrilling turn of events from the cosmos, Japan's Moon Sniper Robotic Explorer has reclaimed its place in the lunar spotlight. Bouncing back from a momentary setback that saw it entering shutdown mode just hours after touching down on the lunar surface. This cosmic comeback, confirmed by the country's space agency, is a testament to resilience and determination. It all began with a flawless landing at 10.20 a.m. Eastern on January 19th, which catapulted Japan into the history books as the fifth country to achieve this lunar milestone. In a twist worthy of a space epic, the spacecraft found itself facing the wrong direction due to an engine failure during touchdown. With its solar cells rendered inactive, the craft relied on dwindling battery power, prompting a quick-thinking response from the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, or JAXA. Enter JAXA's ingenious plan, a temporary shutdown to conserve battery reserves, with hopes pinned on a solar-powered reboot as the sun's angle shifted. JAXA took to social media platform X on Monday to announce a major victory. Communication has been restored with the Smart Lander for Investigating Moon, or SLIM, and operations are back in full swing. In the cosmic theater of exploration, the Slim Lander takes center stage, delivering awe-inspiring images of the lunar landscape back to Earth's mission control with lightning speed. Armed with a state-of-the-art multi-band camera, Slim offers a mesmerizing glimpse into the mysteries of our celestial neighbor. But beyond every groundbreaking image is a team of dedicated experts, weaving their magic with 257 snapshots to craft a captivating mosaic of the landing site. Adding a personal touch, they've even bestowed unique nicknames upon the rocks, infusing their lunar escapades with a dash of personality. Enter Toy Poodle, a rock that stole the show in a captivating close-up shared by the agency. Highlighting Slim's mission to unravel the moon's enigmatic origins one geological gem at a time. Yet Slim's triumphs are just the beginning of Japan's lunar ambitions. With sights set on the Sea of Nectar, they aim to unlock unprecedented insights into this lunar expanse. Meanwhile, NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter offers a bird's eye view of Slim's landing site, a cosmic snapshot that echoes humanity's boundless reach into the unknown. The stars beckon, and our voyage has only just begun. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and if you want to support our channel even further, you can hop on over to our Patreon through the link in the description below. Sign up and become a patron today to gain access to exclusive content. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? In any case, we still appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.